what you'll need for this is a bowl of water, some clear nail polish, and black paper cut into smaller strips. They're easier to work, work with when they're small. All you do is pour the nail polish on the surface of the water and then dip your paper in and then let it dry. And you can see here, they are still wet. And here they are dry. Um, we did this last year with a different brand of clear nail polish and we got a little bit of a different result. We didn't get the string, like the stringiness on the sides of the paper last year that we did this year. So you can kind of play around with it and see. We've done this so many times. All you need is water, seven cups, food coloring, and then you want red, skip one, blue, skip one, yellow, skip one, red. And then some paper towel. So I already put the food coloring in. So all you do is fill up the cups with food coloring and leave the other cups empty. And then fold your paper towel and stick them in like this. And then you wait and you will see the water travels up the paper towel with capillary action a lot like plants and then when the colors mix you get the rainbow all right so what you'll need is a container with a lid we're using a mason jar and some water and jelly crystals in blue, red, and yellow. We got ours from Spangler Science, and I will include a link to those below. So all you do is you take about two teaspoons um, for this size, it's about one teaspoon per eight ounces, and then you fill the cups up with water and let them absorb the water. And then four hours later, you have these big, beautiful jelly crystals. And then you wanna pack it into your container with um, in the order of red, blue, yellow, and then red again on top. And you really want to make sure it's packed in there really tight. And then you wait 24 hours and you will have a rainbow. What you'll need for this is a paper towel tube, an old CD, tape, either scissors or a knife, and some white paper. Then the first thing you're going to do is just cut a slit. I found the um, scissors to work a little better. Um, just cut a 45 degree slit into one side so that the CD will kind of slip in there. And then on the other side, you're going to cut a little hole and that's the part that your child will look through. And then you're gonna cut um, a little circle for on top and tape that down. And you could also paint this. That would be a really fun, um, fun way to decorate it and make it their own. And now they can see rainbows. What you'll need to create a Skittles rainbow are Skittles, obviously, a plate, and some warm water. All you do is you arrange the Skittles in rainbow order, or really whatever order you want, and then pour some warm water on it and then watch the magic. And this happens because Skittles are made from mostly sugar and sugar dissolves in warm water pretty quickly. It's a really neat thing to see. jars, baby oil, and water, and then food coloring. So what you want to do is put your oil in first with your food coloring, and then you can shake it to mix the oil and food coloring together so you have kind of a colored oil. And then once you're done with that, you can add your water on top of that. 
and then the oil will float on top of the water, of course, because oil and water don't mix, right? And then I added a little bit of blue <coughs> to color the water, and then when you shake it, when you mix blue and yellow, it makes green. But the oil on top stays yellow. So this is a really fun experiment to talk about color mixing and to talk about density. So all you need for this is milk, dish soap, food coloring, and some Q-tips. What you want to do is pour your milk onto a plate and then put your food coloring on in whatever pattern you like. We've done this so many times. If you've been following this channel for any, any length of time, you've probably seen this experiment. It's really fun, especially with the preschool younger crowd. And then you stick, um, or you put a little bit of dish soap on your, the end of your Q-tip and then stick it in and just watch the magic. What you need for this is corn syrup that is dyed purple, blue dish soap, green, water that's dyed green, olive oil or any vegetable oil, and rubbing alcohol that is dyed red. <clears throat> and we just use food coloring to dye those things. And then we put the corn syrup on bottom. The dish soap was next. Then we added the water. And I poured it in slowly because I didn't want the water and soap to mix. And then I added the olive oil, and again, you can really use any any oil. We just had olive oil on hand, and it's yellow, so it worked. And then you add the rubbing alcohol. Little tip with the rubbing alcohol, um, we kind of ran into some problems. I think I poured it too fast, and it went underneath the oil and kind of mixed with our green layer. If you spoon it on, um, on top of the oil, it probably will work better. But that is our density rainbow. And my son wanted to see what happens if he shook it. So we, of course, we shook it. And then we tipped it over to see what would happen if the corn syrup would sink to the bottom. And we just had a lot of fun with, with this experiment. You could also put different things in and see how far they sink down, which layer they sink down to. You could use a pin pong ball or a dice, lots of different things. So what you'll need for this is borax, some hot water, pipe cleaner that we made into a rainbow shape, a pen or a pencil, and a tablespoon. So you're going to want about three tablespoons um, for this size, you just want it to be a super saturated solution. And then you stick in your rainbow and wait overnight and crystals will, will appear. I did forget to record the our rainbow, so here is our ornament that we made last year. All you need for this is water, food coloring, and some white flowers. Last year we did roses, this year we're doing these. Um, and then you just stick your flowers into the colored water and it will soak up the color and go into the petals. If you've enjoyed these science experiments, let me know. I'd love to hear. You can find more science fun at RaisingDaVinci.net.